let's move on to the baby food Europa League. Fam. <laughs> baby food where that United dep- dep- depresses me. And Arsenal are sadly in. From time to time, how many whereabouts are there in Europa? Oh, yeah, and Wolves. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shout out Wolves. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out I like Wolves. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. Wolves, though. To be fair, they Even did the. They wow. did uh, in their um, in their uh, qualifiers. Qualifier they did still. They had decent yeah. teams to go through. So obviously, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one to say who's going to win Europa because obviously, <laughs> you know that uh, man from Champions League drop out, drop out, out and yeah. come into yeah. Europa, yeah. which is a bump. I think that should not it happen. A, it's a small bump, but hey. Sometimes I think it makes it a little bit more interesting. It, does, it makes it more like interesting. interesting but, yeah, but uh, then if they win it, it's like, but yeah, you yeah, dropped, yeah, you dropped out, out halfway yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's true, through, but yeah. you know that's why man like Arsenal United and yeah we shouldn't be there shouldn't anyway. Be there. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all it is. It the competition is bigger. Be it's smaller than it's us. Mad, but well, because let me be honest, I don't really know half of these men. I mean, in this, you know I mean? in this thing. Hey, you don't you know have to read it. You can just read how out many, the best. How many teams are there? There's like there's like twelve. Who are the favourites? Who are the favourites? So the favourites. So obviously you have Arsenal. Yeah. You have United. Um. You've got Celtic there, you've got Sporting, you've got PSV, you've got Lazio, um, you've got Espanyol, you've got Wolfsburg there, Roma. Um, yeah, that's the kind of people that are looking strong to me. You know, without the Spanish teams and the English team, UEFA, mm-hmm. UEFA Cup's dead. So, Europa League, dead. It's I dead. hear you. It is dead. It I is. hear you. I hear that. <laughs> I do hear that because, to be honest, try taking like you know planes to countries that you don't even Bro, know. United no, got I mean, a six fa- six thousand I mean, mile trip yeah. to one team. Six thousand miles. Yeah, going to these countries. Anyway, these countries, uh, countries uh, where countries Europe is six thousand miles time. away. Nigeria. Said, <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Is United's fault anyway, Sha? Because it is, it is. anyway, again, that's another topic for another one. <laughs> I still like to win it though. No, saying that. No, United need to. We ain't finishing top four. United, we ain't finishing top four. It's true. So that's that's Champions League. I'll bag it, bag it, bag it. Take it, take it. United, we need to focus on the cups. Take it, eat it. We need to focus on the cups. To be honest. Yeah. So yeah, Europa. I don't really want to talk about Europa too toughly because it's a it's a it's a poor man's cup. It's it's a second grade. To be honest. But even though in its own right, it's kind of okay though because it gets you qualified. It does get you the qualified Champions League. But you know what's what's a shake? They only added that recently because they knew they knew Mandem didn't take it seriously. Yeah, yeah. How can you make Mandem take it seriously? Make them qualify for Champions League. And to be honest, they know themselves is dead. Ah, ah, we're not complaining because that's how we qualify for Champions League. Last season, two seasons ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not. And again, that's how we might do it this season. Lads, again, United. Let's be humble, Harry. We cannot. We cannot be trying to be doing big boy. We're not. We're not. We're not big boys anymore. Can't be watching these. What these five four five kickoffs or whatever. All I'm saying is just revamp Champions League. Let teams qualify on Thursday in flipping. Lichtenstein or uh, somewhere like that. It's it dead. Okay. It's dead. Man, what wasn't is that? it the same Arsenal we was getting on it's saying true. that true. saying that Arsenal fans have to hurry up to get yeah, home for true. what? To That's come and still. now sit down at <laughs> six six forty five to come and watch dead games and now we're in the same it's boat. The same boat. We're all looking at each boat. other, waving. Fine, all the Do you same, know what's man. funny we're though? Do you know what's funny? We deserve it. Of course. I can't even say, oh, yeah. we should be oh, the Champions League. Oh, yeah. League. It's okay. Don't we're, worry. We've actually yeah. become a Europa League team. I even, anyway, it's even good that you're, we're even talking about United because the question I want to ask you, because now we're going to move into the Premier League, but mm. there's a question I want to ask you, man. Yeah. Out of, and I want to just pick Chelsea and United simply because I feel like Lampard and Solskjaer are on the same playing field. Yes. So mm-hmm. my question is to you guys, out of Lampard and Solskjaer, Who's going to have the better season? Ooh. For me, what, ooh, so what? Ooh, so what ooh. manager is going to come out on top? For me, I'm going to say Chelsea. Mm-hmm. And I say this because number one, mm-hmm. Chelsea always have this kind of jammy stuff. Like whenever it might not be anything down to tactics or anything, but whenever a new manager comes in the first mm. season, they always do well for mm-hmm. some true, reason, true. kind of thing. And then at the same time, I feel like Chelsea do still have a better team than us, than United. Mm-hmm. I can see goals coming from Chelsea. I, agree I can with that. see, I can see even um, thing on the bench. Batshuayi can come on the bench, and I can see him score. Mm-hmm. United, what do we have? Rashford gets injured. Rashford is not We're even pissed, more performing. Yeah. But Rashford gets injured. What do we do then? The only Martial thing we have now, the only thing we, we have is January transfer window. That's Chelsea it. can't go and buy players. They're on a ban. That's true. We can. That's true. 
So well, that might, it might be too late. It might be too late. <laughs> yeah, too he late. might be gone by then, isn't it? <laughs> so who are you saying, Jerry? I think Chelsea will have a better season. Yeah. I don't rate United squad at all. Don't I don't. At all. I don't. We're gonna talk about United, but I honestly feel that Chelsea, because everyone, even though they don't have um, transfer, yeah, mm. I think they're cool because and cool I in think, the sense that they'll finish top four. Yeah. I think they. I think. Ooh, I that's think, not cool. I don't, I don't, I don't know I if I'll say Chelsea, that. I don't know I if I'll say. No, I think Chelsea <laughs> can finish top four. I don't know. Listen, we have to. We have to really. Yeah, it's gonna be a battle. Let's, let's just establish. Wait, top so that four, means what? Right? That means you're right off Arsenal. Exactly. That's because what Liverpool City and Tottenham, they're there. They're there. They're there. They're there. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, again, I'm not. I'm not writing off Arsenal. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, is that Chelsea can compete for top four. All they have to, if if their back four can get sorted out, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that that checks us in. Goals, I don't see them struggling. I see them struggling. No, 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 they might they might struggle a bit, but let's be honest. Chelsea are very um, midfield heavy. Yeah, very midfield heavy, very very midfield heavy. But again, like I'm trying to say, that like, let's we can't um, discredit the work Lampard did last season for Derby. Yeah. And the reason why I'm saying that I think that they will flourish is because Lampard's got some of his young boys from that Derby squad. Mm. And, you know, the, the amount of belief that he's going to put in. I'll be real with them. you. I think United and Chelsea are both going to struggle this season. No, we are. Yeah, no, both. they are. And we're already, both, both of us yeah, are already are. struggling. Yeah. Yeah. No, Five games are. in, we're both already struggling. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, That's the I, harsh I hear reality. I hear you. We're both going to struggle. I hear you, but the thing is, Chelsea... I mean, so not Chelsea. United yeah. are going to struggle more than Chelsea is. I feel like we we can relate to each other. I feel like we both got young managers from that used to play for the team. We both starting youngsters like Rashford, Mason Mount, and stuff. Do you, know what's I feel, do you know what's actually even mad? We're actually comparing ourselves to Chelsea. Like, that's what it is. That's what it is. Become that's what Chelsea. it is. Because me, no, no, not that. Not that Chelsea is like most, but. Like in the sense that what they got get, get a new manager, Lampard, go through this new, like just it's just ah, uh, fam, United, okay. United, falling from, from grace, grace. From, from falling grace. from Let's grace. Really want to accept it. Okay. As soon as you accept it, it. I've, accept, I've actually accepted <laughs> it. Like listen, I said, I've got no expectations for this season. Listen, I've that got is, no expectations. And Nothing and can surprise me. I'm so happy that you man has said, as when you come to terms to accept it. Mm. Everything will be easy, and it that still hurts. Easy. I can't lie, it still hurts. No, no, it does hurt, but that is the problem with United fans. United fans, I'm talking to you not directly. Wow, yeah, directly, <laughs> guys. We have to really look at things for face value. Please listen, because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is knackered. <laughs>